It's being called an eyesore and worse. So why is a Bay Area city fighting so hard to save this house that's falling apart? Christian Hartnett with one 94 year old woman's fight to tear down her own property. There's nothing special about that property. It looks like it's falling apart. It just looks awful. That's how Lucille Mellish sees this century old cottage on College Avenue. She used to live there in the 60s and still owns it, but she says no one's lived in it or fixed it up for about four decades. Now it's home to a termite and rodent infestation. It's just an eyesore to the whole community. Lucille wants to demolish it, but the city is standing in the way. This was a typical home that was used by a lot of the people building Palo Alto. Roger Kohler is the chairman of Palo Alto's Historic Resources Board. He and the board say Lucille's trash is the city's treasure. So it has a historic value in the sense that it's part of a history that is disappearing. Effort. It's not a Historic. It's not historic. Lucille wrestled with the board last night to get the home delisted as a historical property. She doesn't want to restore it and says the battle to get it delisted is already costing her. On my nieces and nephews mm -hmm. who are trying to get an education. The board rejected her proposal, but Lucille says the battle isn't over. I'm going to keep trying. I'm a fighter. <laughs> and the fight will continue. Lucille says she plans on going to city council with this in the next few months. In Palo Alto, Christian Hartnett, KPIX 5.